Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Up at the storage yard today, got a video I've been meaning to do for quite some time. And um, it's basically the um, equivalent to our caravan uh, 2022, if I can find one. Now, this is a Coachman Chanterbury GTRS Sussex. It was a dealer special back in 2011. We didn't buy it in 2011. It has had a previous owner but uh, we bought it um, about uh, three years ago now, I think it is. And um, ever since we bought it, we've had nothing but great, great holidays in this caravan. Um, it's a f uh, an island bed on the back wall. Um, it's, it's just everything that we need. But what I wanted to do was go up to Sussex Caravan and Motorhome Centre and see what the Coachman Chanterbury GTRS equivalent is of today. But let me just give you a quick look at the inside. Okay, so walking in our caravan, uh, this isn't eight foot wide, obviously it's 2011. Um, so we uh, have got the, the normal bench seats at the front, like probably everyone has. Um, we do keep a couple of rattan chairs in here. They're plastic, they're very lightweight. Um, if I can remember where I got them, I think it was Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description down below. But anyway, basically two front bench seats and we have the chest. Um, we don't have the extra cushions, otherwise I would take it out. But um, it um, literally all we keep in there is a few bits of paper uh, for writing and that, and a few puzzle books and some games. That's all we really keep in there. We have great storage all the way around. But looking into the kitchen here, we have the Fetford fridge, have a countertop, um, sink, and we have our cooker. Um, it's a gas, uh, four gas burner. Um, I know a lot of people have got the uh, electric hob as well, but we have a four gas burner. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Sarah done some cooking on that uh, while we was away, and she has got her own channel. I'll leave a link in the top right hand corner. Corner. You can have a look at that. It was absolutely fantastic. She done a great job at uh, two videos she made. She done an outtakes video, and also we did um, a, a video uh, on her doing some cooking, which she does do that type of cooking in this caravan. Um, I kid you not, it's, it was absolutely to die for. Anyway, uh, Thetford blown air heating we have, and um, it's, uh, yeah, we don't really use it a lot. Um, but anyway, uh, we've got some more storage space. Uh, that countertop, we have the TV on, we have some storage above, and uh, that's really about so it. Walking into the bedroom, this is our shower on the left-hand side as you walk in. So, Again, um, hopefully these are as different as night and day, uh, the showers on the, the other caravan. And our bathroom. I've got an aqua roll in there at the moment, so I'm not going to move that. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's just the, the normal toilet, Thetford toilet. Now, I don't know if anyone watched my video the other week, but the plastic, um, sorry, the pump uh, didn't work when we went down to the new forest. So what I did was I removed that cover there. Let me just come in the toilet a bit more. So I removed this cover. I literally just picked it up off the side there. It's uh, sticky all the way around. So I just removed that cover. Underneath there is a little plate with this button. Um, so, so all I did was I just removed it from the connector, uh, cleaned up the terminals, put it all back and it worked. The only thing, this here, which tells you uh, when the cassette is full, that's never ever worked since we had it. It works now <laughs> and I found that out. So that's great. So yeah, I mean, you know, this is gonna be completely different. Again, I would have thought to the 2022 equivalent of this caravan. We have got loads of storage in here. Uh, we've got plenty of storage. Um, and uh, yeah, so that is our toilet. But uh, just walking back around to the bedroom, um, like I say, it's uh, an, an end um, island bed on the back wall. Uh, we have the wardrobes, uh, Sarah's wardrobe, my wardrobe, and some cupboard space. So that at the top. is the inside of our 2011 Coachman Pastiche Chanterbury GT RS. So let's go up to Sussex Caravans. One hour later. Right, so we're up at Sussex Caravan and Motorhome Centre. Uh, I'm actually standing in, in a beautiful, beautiful caravan. Um, it's it. <laughs> Yeah, if I had the money, I'd be buying this one as well. Uh, anyway, I'm going to give you a look round it and we'll go exactly with what's here. Uh, this is the equivalent of the 2011 
uh, Coachman Chanterbury GTRS that we own. So there are a couple of little bit different things. Uh, this is eight foot wide um, and it's an L shape at the front, which I actually quite like. Um, so let me show you around this one and we'll go through the stats together. Okay, so the uh, the difference with uh, this caravan is uh, to ours is, um, you know, like night and day. It's, um, it really is a complete difference. Um, they still stay with a solid door. Um, same as ours, we've got the solid door. And what I mean by that is it's not a barn door where you can swing the top half open, keep the bottom half shut. Um, the next difference is, is that you've got this lovely, lovely L-shaped um, front room. Um, you've got some storage space there. Um, I would imagine that you've got this place or over here on the wall to put a TV if you so desire. Um, it, it's just a really nice caravan. It feels very spacious and that's possibly something to do with the fact that it is eight foot wide as well. <laughs> um, I mean, I know it's, um, the, you know, a, a, not a great difference between the uh, seven foot six and eight foot. You know, you're not talking about a great difference. But anyway, um, this is really, really nice. I love this work surface. It really is a nice work surface as you, and you've also got a panel here to flip up so you can make your work surface even bigger. Uh, I'm not going to do that because um, this caravan, although I'm filming in it, it has, um, you know, got a buyer in mind for it. But anyway, um, let me just move my have a camera out of the way. There are all the stats for it. I will let you look at that. Let me get another angle on that because that would be a bit better. So there are all the stats on it. If you want to freeze frame that, you can do so you can have a look. But um, yeah, this um, it's got plenty of um, power points in here, uh, and I have noticed um, that the the little spotlights haven't got USB in them. Um, no, they are these stroke ones as well. You literally just stroke that little pad there, um, and uh, they come on. It's got a great stereo system by the looks of it. Um, some more places over there for a power points if you so desire. The other thing I did notice before I looked around it is you've actually got. Um, wireless charging as well and there's some more power points over there lots of lovely lovely space to put stuff um, and you've got the soft close don't know if that's on everything I imagine it is oh I like them but uh, yeah yep soft close on that again microwave above the cooker and this has got an electric hob and three gas rings so you've got plenty of storage here and plenty of storage here as well. And I would imagine at the back of the place there where you can keep all your tins and everything, you've got the gas bottle there. I would imagine that's where it is because uh, this doesn't have um, a front, you know, front um, gas locker for it. You've got the great Dometic full length fridge and freezer it's absolutely superb beautiful and um, as far as i'm aware and if i do it gently this one opens both ways really nice storage underneath as well storage here for i would imagine it's a table in there yep there's a table in there no storage actually above the fridge which i find strange that would make a nice little area for a uh, storage now like ours uh, when you walk into our caravan you have the shower on the left which you have on these and you have the toilet on the right now let me just walk through to the bedroom and then i'll turn around i if now my problem with this is that i'll go to the toilet first not literally <laughs> um my problem with this is let me shut that door is that you've now got to empty the cassette toilet uh into your awning not literally but you you know you've got no choice it goes in to your awning um so you know ideally you would want the um, toilet on the right hand side of the caravan as you're looking up to the front of the um the caravan um to the living area because then you would have it um, out of the awning and you can you know plenty of fresh air uh, depending on you know how you use your toilet but that's what we would like ideally these um this this bathroom looks absolutely massive compared to ours uh, sorry toilet um looks 
massive compared to ours. Now, I have complained about these um, before, these um, sinks, and for me, um, I, I'm not exactly small. Uh, I, I am on the larger side, but um, this, for me, doesn't, doesn't make a really good sink. I mean, you can put your fruit in there and probably stuff like that, but this, especially if you're just washing your face and your hands and whatever, you know, you, you, you try to get down to this and you're spilling half the water all over the floor. So I do not like these at all. I, I know probably why they've done it is to make it more um, keeping to the wall to give you more room to get around the toilet. I would imagine that's what it's for. And also to incorporate this lovely heated uh, towel rail. But for me, this is a no-no. I just don't like them. Um, but, you know, what I don't like is someone else does like them. Um, storage space underneath. Plenty of storage space in here, actually. Got some hangers up there as well. But anyway, that's the toilet. With the shower, I'll just open that door. Which way do you open it? There you go. So it's a concertina door or a collapsible door, uh, fully lined over the um, wheel well. So you've got that intruding into the shower. But uh, even for me, that wouldn't be a problem. Um, the, 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 the equivalent of the shower in our um, caravan uh, to this one is again night and day. Um, our you've got a little light in this one. Look at that little light. That's fantastic. We've got um, a light in ours, but it's um, not as small as that. It's quite. It is large, but it's um, it is quite good actually as well. Um, now, before I didn't know what this was, and I'm now led to believe this is to hang uh, flannels on, or a small towel, or drying rail uh, for towels. Um, so I was put right with that one. But like I say, they are the, the, the actual showers are completely different. They, they are night and day. But this is beautiful. Really is nice. And you've got a vent over the top of the shower. And you've also got this skylight to um, open as well when you're using a shower. If you desire to use your shower, I mean, a lot of people don't want to use them. But anyway, walking into the bedroom area, you've got a place there for a TV. Uh, lovely windows. And, and, and it's just a great color, great color. The, the bed at the moment is in the day configuration. Now, again, different to ours, ours is fixed. So it's always in the night configuration. We don't get the choice um, with our um, bed. We have to leave it in, you know, the, the full out position. Would be nice to be able to do that because it does give you this lovely space around. But there again, see, this is eight foot wide, this caravan. So you would get a lot of space around it. Great wardrobes. Um, again, a little bit bigger than ours. But again, it's because it's an eight foot wide. Uh, T-shelf. And also, I like these, these little pockets here for putting uh, either a book or some, you know, your phone when it's charging. And I have noticed up on here on the uh, lights, you've got a USB and you've also got one over on that side. So these have got USBs in the back which is good. And you've also got the same this side as well. Wardrobe. Yeah, Aldi wet central heating is in here. So that just sort of protrudes into the wardrobe. Not a great deal, but it's nice. And you've got these smaller hecky roof lights. I actually quite like the smaller hecky roof lights. I, I don't know uh, if anyone else uh, likes them, but I, I think they're quite nice. Um, it certainly still floods this caravan with a lot of light. I'm not going to lift the bed up because, uh, like I say, this caravan is provisionally sold, so I don't really want to um, mess around in here too much. Like I said the 2022 equivalent of our Coachman 2011. Hopefully you can agree this, this caravan is absolutely beautiful. Um, it is the equivalent of our caravan 2011 Chanterbury GTRS. This is the Chanterbury Laser Extra, eight foot wide. It is a 2022 model. It is a really, really nice caravan. I really like this. And if Sarah saw it, she'd probably want to buy it tomorrow. But unfortunately, it is already provisionally sold.
Anyway, I think we'll leave it there. Um, this is a lovely caravan, like I said, and there's no more I can say about it. The, you know, it's, yeah, I just, I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I really am. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.